Be the best. Be the best. Be the best. Then be the glorious. Get your free tea today at Kim West That Shop. We'll talk about that. Um, we're gonna talk about today. Is it an overreaction to Diddy? Are people is there fake outrage in your opinion, Sam man, when it comes to this Diddy thing? Um we have we have an audio from the lady um that used to play on Family Matter. So many of you talking about Diddy are full of shit because you're talking about what you would do to Diddy and how you don't appreciate him beating women. But there's men right there in your community who you know do it all the time and you're letting them make it. You're not talking about them and you ain't touched them. In fact, I know firsthand, two different men have hit me twice, and twice my own friends and people close to them tried to convince me that I should give them another chance. These are people who I thought cared about me. I don't deal with them anymore, and I don't deal with those men anymore. The difference between me and those women is I fight back. You don't get to hit me more than once. <laughs> So they didn't win when it came to me. But I had people who I thought loved me, who I thought were my friends, tell me, oh, well, he only hit you once, right? Is that what you're talking about? Give him another chance. I'm sorry, you don't get another chance with Cherry Johnson because Cherry motherfucking Johnson loves herself more than she loves anybody else besides from her child and her mother. So why you condemn these famous men? Think about the men in your community. Think about the situations that you need to correct or the women that you need to apologize to because that's really what affects your life more than Diddy. Just saying. Just because you know them or you're friends with them doesn't mean they have the same relationship with you that they do the women who are romantically involved with them. Stop assuming that you know people. The truth is you never know what another man and when I say man, I mean man or woman, is capable of. Because you hit me, I'm going to beat your ass. All right. You hit her, she's going to beat your ass up. <laughs> um, now, all jokes aside, um, what, what do you think about what we just heard? You know, I agree with it. You know, a large portion of it. Uh, I want to I want to read this comment before I go in on it. Yeah. Somebody left this on the video, um, the Diddy video yesterday. They put... Um, I'm not going to put the guy's name out there. I'm sure he don't want it. But the hip-hop community doesn't make any sense. Pimping, drug use, and all types of negative behavior are voice and all the music. Well, when somebody lives it, we are surprised. Pick a side. I think that's pretty deep, you know, what he's saying. Because it's like, this is what's being pushed. This is what's being glorified. This is what the culture has become a certain um, portion of the culture has become bitches, hoes, smack a bitch, smack a nigga, fuck a nigga, fuck a... You know what I mean? This is what this has become. And now we're surprised to see this actually playing out. Like, even take, like, the drill music. Like, these dudes are rapping about dead bodies. So they're killing people. They know people that's killing people. Hoeing, drug use. Are you, su are you surprised to see somebody using drugs? They promoting it all day. If you inside inner cities, you see what's going on all day. You see domestic violence. Especially, like, people, come on now. And I'm not condoning it. I think it's all wrong. I think it's all disgusting. We always speak out about it. But come on. You know people that push their girl, beat on their girl all the time. Do you do anything about it? Scrappy today. Scrappy was talking about if he seen Diddy, he want to shoot the fade with him. He want to scrap with him. Whatever, whatever people say now. What? That dude up the street beating on his wife, you want to shoot the fade with him? All I'm saying, I'm saying that all is to say that this is just, it, it, it's a fake outrage. It, it's monkey see, monkey do. Everybody, I'm going the way everybody else is going. Oh, I better be like this. No. No. He made a mistake. I don't know if he did it other times. If you had to ask me with a gun to man, I was like, yeah, I think he, he beats bitches' asses. That's his M.O. That's what he does. But what if he only did it one time? It was one isolated incident and he went to get help. Should he be forgiven for that? Should your father that beat on your mother be forgiven? Should your brother that beat on his girlfriend be forgiven? Should your husband or boyfriend that beats on you? Are you still going back to him? Should he be forgiven? So that's all I'm saying with this is just like, it was wrong. It's wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody was ever defending Diddy. 
but let's put the human element back into this thing for just one moment. That's all I'm saying. It's a lot of people who live in a in a fake ass world and in a world who where they believe their opinion matters in somebody else's personal fucking business. Right. right. The only person that needs an apology or deserves the right to accept or deny an apology is the victim at hand, and that happens to be Cassie in this situation. This is what we saw. He don't owe me an apology. He don't owe you an apology. He don't owe none of you motherfuckers an apology. Nothing. Right. Absolutely nothing. That's between him and that woman. Now, and this is where I feel like this this is where it's it's the dark side of social media, and we sold our souls to it because a lot of people find it hard to say this. They, they want to live their real life on social media. Mm. Meanwhile, their life in real life Ooh. is fake as fuck. Ooh. And that's just, it's just like, damn. Because the shit y'all talk about and want to be about on social media is the complete opposite of what you're doing in real life. Like you said, you may see your mom or your dad getting their ass whipped. You may see, you may know your girl, her man is whipping her ass and you telling her to stick around because, dog, you know she got that money. Where else you going to get this money? Where else you going to get this? Your man is whipping dude. Pray for him. You know what I'm saying? Word <laughs> up. Your boy is whipping his girl's ass and you know it. But y'all chilling every Friday night. Y'all getting hoes out on the side. So I'm going to shut a blind eye even though morally I know this shit is wrong. Damn. Come on now. But because I know it's wrong, now I have a license to go ahead and rip this public dude apart. Diddy's a monster. We've been talking about it forever. But as hard as it is, you still got to give a fair shot. Did I think Cassie was out for a money grab initially? In my personal opinion, yeah, I did. And I was wrong. Nope. She got her ass whipped. And it was a more of that story than we thought, and we apologized for it. But also, as people on this platform, we also brought on attorneys. We brought on legal experts. We brought on people in the community to go for and against Diddy. Whatever their opinion were, we asked the questions and we let them do our thing. That's where the neutrality came in, where human beings are going to have fucking opinions. And those right. opinions sometimes are right or wrong. And in this circumstance, we sat back on this day and said, yo, we saw it. And it's, e it's easy to say, you know, once you're proven wrong, oh, you was wrong. <laughs> it's easy to say that shit. But we, we, it was being, we exercised neutrality the whole time because we did not know. I don't care what was in the paperwork. People lie about people all the time. When we actually got a chance to see the video, then things change. And we said that as soon as we see a video. Right. Like then it's like, did. okay, well, oh, shit. Well, maybe it's not. Okay, damn. Like, and then we got to see how graphic it was. and. Bad. How he just didn't shove her or something like that. Nah, he whooped her ass, dragged her like it was on some, you know, bitch shit. Sorry, YouTube, I can't, you know, censor that part out. Yeah. That's what it was. So at the end of the day, it's just like, like you, I think you put it best, man, when you said that people want to live they, they they fake lie or they real lives on social media, but in real life, life is a living hell. Mm -hmm. But nobody knows it because you can hide that on social media. You can be this. You know, pompous, you know, you're the greatest person ever that don't make no mistakes and they got no dirt going on in your life. But if we were to turn the camera on some of you guys and girls out there, we will see that your life is probably worse than a lot of these people, you know what I mean, that's a, that we talk about or, you know, in the media every day. Mm. You know, so my next question would be, Sam, man, to you, um, should Diddy be forgiven? Should he be forgiven if, if he went to actually get help? If he, you know, realized, look, I was on drugs, I was I was high, I was wilding out. That's the old me. I'm not doing that shit no more. Because I've known guys who, you know, they, they they went one way in their life and they switched up. They went to go get help. Whether it be anger management and things like that because they sincerely wanted to change. Do you feel like if he took all those steps that he should be forgiven? In my opinion, this is my opinion because it really doesn't matter. Because whatever Diddy does, our thoughts, our opinions don't matter. But in my opinion, I want to see more, man. Now I'm That's at the point fact. where I want to see more. I want to know what more is out there. If this happened to be an isolated incident, then all right. Laugh. I, I, it's tough remembering that video, remembering those images, but I'm not going to sit back and say the dude can't earn a living anymore and say the dude doesn't deserve to live anymore because of this one isolated incident. I don't have a personal relationship, so I don't have to decide whether or not I want to talk to him anymore. Never talked to the motherfucker to begin with. So that's out the question. Does he if it was your friend, it? if it was your homie, your homie, let's just say that, you grew up with him and you saw that video afterwards, honestly, would it be your reaction after all that shit? I'd be hurt. Um, right. I'd talk to him. He would obviously know I, I didn't think it was cool and I would check him on that. 
But I wouldn't turn my back on him. Right. Me neither. I wouldn't turn my back on him. Right. I couldn't turn my back on him. Right. I couldn't do it. Um, yeah. And and that's what I'm saying. Like to those, to his kids, to his family, to that circle, that inner circle, those are the people that matter yep. as far as the forgiveness. We don't. It doesn't fucking matter. Right. But I want to see what else is out there now. Now, now it's like, all right, if they got that video, because I firmly believe the FBI released this video. Of course. What else they got? Right. And if it's now, if we're talking about because this isolated incident, because he's not. Let's, let's keep the facts. The facts. Right or wrong, he's not getting locked up for this. L.A. law cannot allow him to get locked up for this. Mm-hmm. But if he has something with some underage girls out there on video, Ooh. if he got something where he's doing some illegal activity, I'm not talking. And, and I'm and I'm sorry. I'm not talking. I don't care if. They got Diddy doing a whole eight ball of cocaine on the damn dresser. I don't care about that shit. I'm talking about him harming children, right? Messing with young girls, trafficking right. girls on that level type shit, right? They got that on wax. Fry his ass, yeah. Fry him. Any more abuse stuff, and it starts getting ugly. And this dude has a serial problem. He may need to go up somewhere and get some shit to taken care of too. I want to reserve and wait to see on that. Would you like to see him? Now, like going to like, remember how Michael Vick, you know, he was um, convicted or whatever, um, or the dogs and all that. Yeah, yeah. He had to be like an advocate now. Like he's working with the SPCA. Would you like to see Diddy go that route? Not just for the cameras and just to do it for his image. Because at the end of the day, if the FBI does have stuff, they're going to methodically make chess moves and destroy his image. That's what that was to do. Yep. They know they couldn't get him locked up. But it's about now destroying the image to make him a monster, which they were successful doing. Would you like to see him go that route? It's like, you know, if he was sincere about it, like being, you know, DV, you know, abusers and campaigning and donating money and starting a foundation and shit like that. In time. Don't word, do that shit word, right word, now. Word, Because the shit don't seem genuine. That, kind of, that, that, that video yesterday didn't seem genuine at fucking all. That was damage control at its finest. Damage control. And that, whatever. You know what I mean? Whatever your thoughts on on that, that's your thoughts. But... If it's genuine, don't put it on camera. If it's genuine, don't make it an Instagram post. If it's genuine, do that shit because you genuinely care and don't give a fuck what any of us say out here. Or oh, what's he doing with his money? You know what you're doing with it, right? Um, yeah. And that'd be cool. But right now, nah, because I don't think it would be genuine. That's why I was shaking my head like, nah, that shit ain't genuine. But then when you put that part in there, yeah, in time, yeah, I think so. Yeah. We'll see, though. We got to see the, the depths of... Yeah. The depths of all this. Like, is this just a dude that this is who he is and he's a sociopath and he'll look in the camera and lie to our face? Meanwhile, he's an absolute monster. Do his kids know? Do did, did Scrappy know? But because he was at a fucking Rockefeller white party, he turned a blind eye into shit because he seen him give Cassie an eye one time or give whoever an eye one time or knew that when Diddy got drunk, he got crazy. And that was some shit that they didn't talk about because they were still living that lavish life comfortable. I think a lot of people knew. What? Not to cut Hell you off. Yeah, bro. The industry knew, bro. Yeah. The people talk. All it takes is Cassie talking to one person, which I'm sure she did, and that shit spread like wildfire to the industry. People knew. People knew. People probably knew about if there were other incidences. But just like you said, like, he's placed on a party. He's ditty. Like, they don't give a fuck at the end of the day. They didn't care. Now, some may. I want to speak for everybody, but some of them didn't care. They're going to go party. Oh, well, that's on her. And that's just the way people are, unfortunately, in my opinion. So, yeah. I guarantee you, if Cassie ever did an interview, and I'm sure we will down the line here, an interview from Cassie, and somebody were to ask her, how much of the industry knew this was going everybody. on? <laughs> she would look in that camera and say 90% of them. <sighs> Come on now. And I'm not talking about the whistleblowers, because there's been whistleblowers out there, and we've called them conspiracy theorists and little things like that. I'm talking about the ones that party with them, knew it, and then five minutes later took a picture with him after it. Them motherfuckers. And even like security and artists and people that was around that all of a sudden know everything. Mm. How can you go to the police and stuff back then? Why ain't we knock him outside his fucking, knock his windpipe out then? Punch him right in his chest and son this dude. What you doing, bro? Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? It's another story for another day. <laughs>